Transformers Earth Spark is a great show, and to go along with our show, we got a great toy line. I only have two figures from this toy line, but I enjoy the ones I've got so much. So today, I thought we'd take a look at the Transformers Earth Spark Megatron. Starting out in vehicle mode, he turns into a assault carrier thing. I'm not quite sure what he turns into, but all I know is it really fits his character. Like, it's I, it's like a war type ship thing. And being Megatron, he's obviously like a warmonger. So having an alt mode that sort of fits that really works. But I love how it looks, like, even on a cheap toy line, they've gotten a bunch of detailings and everything. I like I like how the cockpit looks, how it's, like, just sticking out of bright blue. I like how the legs come back and form the tail fin. I like how the fusion cannon splits to make the uh, back of the uh, rotor engines, actually. Despite it being parts forming, but every Megatron does a parts forming thing. It's just un unavoidable with him. I like a lot of things uh, this Megatron does. Like having the hip skirts fold up and become part of the uh, the vehicle. It's it's nice. And it, it does look like he's ready to go to war or something. I know that doesn't make sense, but to me, it looks like he's ready to go out straight to war. And this figure particularly actually reminds me a lot of Transformers Animated Megatron. Base basically because of the both type of they're both a type of helicopter thing. I don't know, they just feel similar. But Megatron looks good in vehicle mode, so I just had to take some pictures, so here they are. Transformation is nice and simple. It's nice to have a toy that isn't over complicated in its transformation. Like a lot of the chug stuff I like. It's nice they're nice and easy, but they also got that hint of complicate complicated moving. Now I will say the only part I don't like about this Megatron is untabbing his fusion cannon from the uh the back of the plane because it's really tight and I feel like it will break. So that's the only thing I don't like, but otherwise, it's a nice transformation. Here we are in robot mode, and wow, Megatron looks amazing. He looks like pretty much any Megatron that you'd see. Like, from the waist to the shins, he feels and looks like a Megatron. Now, the only issue I have with him is his head sculpt, as that's the only thing that doesn't feel like Megatron, as they tried capturing what Earthspark Megatron looked like at a small scale. Personally, I don't think it works, but at least, at least it kind of captures what he looked like. But I love how this Megatron is, I love his tall, bulky shoulders, I love how the shins look, I love how the arms look. Now, there is a bit of kibble on the arm, and that's just something that will always happen with Transformers. There will always be a bit of kibble somewhere. But th this one's fine. It doesn't stick out too much. I I just love how much he looks, and having the, uh, the, ch the cockpit stick out in the chest is nice. And I do like the new ghost badge on him. I, I think that's quite nice. Posability wise is kind of good. His head's on a bowl joint allowing for up, down, and swivel. Now the arms are on hot rod joints, I I'd, I'd say, where they go up and over the shoulder instead of actually moving at the shoulder itself. But that is just due to how this transforms. It can't really get around it, but it can go all the way around. Uh there's elbow swivel and it and the elbow bends in. A little over a 90 by the look of it. Also, the kibble can swivel. Uh, there's no waist, but that's fine. This isn't an expensive toy. 
Uh, legs go all the way forward, all the way out to the side, and if you move the butt flap, they go all the way back. There's a thigh swivel. Knee, knee has a really deep bend. And the, uh, foot pivots. Accessory-wise, you get a stylized take on Megatron's fusion cannon. I personally love how the fusion cannon looks here. It's a nice, unique take, and... Honestly, I, I think it's a nice new look for the uh, fusion cannon. Because normally whenever they make the fusion cannon, they try and make it look like how it did in G1, with it being the gun scope thing. But personally, I quite like when they put new designs on the fusion cannon. Like, this one here is quite nice, and I think it actually fits Megatron a lot more than the uh, normal gun barrel thing. And you also get... A human arm as an accessory. This is for their build a mandroid thing which they're doing where basically every figure you get an extra piece to build a uh, build the main antagonist in Earthspark that being mandroid. Personally I don't really care for it as I don't think I'm gonna collect every single Earthspark figure. I mean that's mostly due to them not releasing everyone here for some reason. But, I mean, it's cool if you want to do it, but personally, I don't, I don't care about building Mandroid. Megatron looks so good in robot mode that I just had to take some photos, so here they are. This has been the review for Transformers Earthspark Deluxe Class Megatron. Tell me what do you think about him. Do you like him or did you not pick him up? Personally, I like him quite a bit. He's a nice toy, nice easy to fiddle with and he only goes for about $25 here I want to say it was. About, about normal Deluxe Class uh, size. But... Personally, I, I like him. I think anyone should pick him up. But tell me below, what do you think? Thanks for watching.